New construction homes coming soon to the Las Vegas Valley in 2023. And that's what we're talking about today. So let's roll. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I am Angela O'Hare, your favorite and only Las Vegas realtor. Today, I have a special guest with me. I have Damian Barton. Hi, everybody. He is a realtor in training, so you will be seeing more videos with him and me together, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> Doing a lot of videos together. But today, and before we get started, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button. But today, we're going to talk about new construction communities that are coming to the Las Vegas Valley for 2023. And we will also go over ones that have recently just opened um, because I haven't done one of these types of videos in some time. So I thought it was important to kind of just highlight a few communities that have either recently opened or that will be coming soon, including Henderson and Summerlin areas. Now, when you buy new construction, it's very important before you even visit that community that you bring your real estate agent with you on the very first visit because we are there to represent you where the sales reps are to, there to represent the seller. So it's very important because if you don't bring us on your very first visit, then I will not be able to represent you at all once you register by yourself. So FYI on that. Another information on new construction is that this property tax on new construction tends to be approximately 1% of total purchase price. So property taxes with new construction tends to be a little more expensive than resale homes. Mm -hmm. um, so if you bought an $800,000 home, 1% of that's $8,000. If you bought an $800,000 resale home, it'd probably be half of that. So those are just a few things I wanted to clarify before we get started. So the first neighborhood we're going to go over is Alpine Ridge by TriPoint Homes. Mm -hmm. And as you know, TriPoint Homes is one of my favorite builders here in the Valley because of the mid-century modern aesthetics. Mm -hmm. Okay. Beautiful lines. Yes. Beautiful asymmetrical roof lines. Um, but this is one of the first neighborhoods to, to debut in one of the newest master plan communities in Las Vegas called Kyle Point. Yes. I'm just learning about it. Stay tuned. I will be doing a video on Kyle Point soon. So Kyle Point is located off of Kyle Canyon Road and 95. Mm -hmm. So it's on the way to Sunstone. So instead of heading east to Sunstone, you would head west on Kyle Canyon Road. Like you're going to Mount Charleston. Uh, exactly. On the way to Mount Charleston. Right. Where it used to be nothing out there. Yes. At one time. I can't believe how much they've grown. Yeah, and mm -hmm. we were shocked. We were up there for another community and shocked because there used to be a lot of farmhouses or houses. They used to be. And it's just amazing um, how much they're encroaching all the way up to Mount Charleston. On a side note, just real quick. Yes. Wasn't the drive beautiful when the, the, the mountains were totally white? Yes. Because all the snow that they had yeah. up there. I just wanted to share that with you. It's just the views in that area was just gorgeous. Stay tuned. Kyle Canyon is a brand new master plan community in the northwest part of the valley. But let's talk about Alpine Ridge. Alpine Ridge um, is a all single story community that will have three different floor plans to choose from, ranging in size from 2379 square feet to 2745 square feet, with three to four bedrooms, two and a half to three bathrooms, and two to three car garages. Unfortunately, they haven't really released the prices, but it said anticipated prices from the 500s, mm -hmm. which is pretty cool. And one of the floor plans will have a next gen suite option, which is also cool. I'm not gonna go very, over- Very, very important nowadays. A lot of people yes. are, are wanting that, we're noticing. That's yes. you know, the, the, the mother, and the, mother the, the father living with them, those kind of things, or children moving in, they wanna have them separated. The, the next gen suites are very, very popular right now. Exactly. I'm not gonna go over all the floor plans that are in this community. I have created a blog post for this video. So if you wanna learn more about each of these communities, I suggest you click on the link down in the description for the blog post. Another community by TriPoint Homes that will be hitting Kyle Point 
soon in the near future is called Arrow Peak. However, they haven't released any more information about this community besides it will be coming to the Kyle Point Master Plan. Now, TriPoint will be opening nine new communities in 2023 across the Las Vegas Valley. So that's an interesting tidbit to know. Mm. Now, we're only going over the communities that we know of right now. I may do a video in the next few months with more updated communities coming into the Las Vegas Valley. So the next community is Estrella at Sunstone, and this is by Woodside Homes, and it will be coming soon. No release date or prices have been released. Mm -hmm. However, it will be another single story community, and this is the trend I'm seeing in a lot of these new construction communities, single story communities, which single story homes, and they're finally getting the message, sell better than two story homes, and it's a high demand. So this is awesome that actually I think most, this whole list is pretty much almost all single story homes. Mm -hmm. And Estrella at Sunstone too, they were saying that they're gonna have between 1788 square feet and 2054 square feet. And that's like a nice sweet zone too. For yeah, for single stories. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're gonna stories. have um, two to three bedrooms with two and a half to three and a half bathrooms. So all two car garages. Unfortunately, prices have yet to be released. So we were up in Sunstone the other day and we saw where it's gonna be located. It's actually just east of Trilogy Sunstone. So it's right there, um, pretty cool, right? Mm -hmm. Yes, very. Yeah. So the next community that we were looking at actually is extremely affordable. And it was the Landings at Talus. And the Landings at Talus at Kyle Canyon is a brand new gated community uh, that has recently opened up in the, in the northwest Las Vegas. In fact, apparently like three months ago, right? Was it three months ago? It was a couple of months it's ago. Couple months <laughs> this place. So, so, so we, we want to make sure we, we share this as well. But this community features six two-story floor plans, if I remember right. correctly, uh -huh. to choose from. And they range from sizes from about, you know, 1,590 square feet to about, you know, 2,469 square feet. Um, and these have between three to five bedrooms, two and a half to four bathrooms, depending on what features and how you want it laid out. And they all have two car garages. And these ones, the, 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 they're so reasonably priced, they're priced from the high 300s. Right. Yeah, and they have a couple of the KB, you know, KB is known throughout the Las Vegas Valley. So all these floor plans are very well known, but the most popular floor plan in this collection is the 2469 floor plan mm -hmm. because it offers great size, you can have four to five bedrooms and two and a half to four bathrooms, and it also has a nice loft area. So that's uh, one of the most popular floor plans by KB. I liked how open it was when we walked in too. Yeah. And the kitchen was really nice. Yeah, the mm -hmm. kitchen is very nice. And they have different variations of the 2469, which is the 2069, which is slightly smaller, uh, 400 square feet less, um, but it's similar layout to the 2469 as well. Was a 2469 one the one that had the bathroom was kind of hidden in the back behind the kitchen? I like that, how that wall, you couldn't really tell, but there was, was like a- That was a 2069. That was a 2069, okay. Yes. I did like that feature, yes. that was really cool. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, I have a friend that has a 2069 floor plan and that's the one that's, that's the little difference between the 2469 and the 2069 because the 2469 has a bedroom downstairs or a den. It can be converted into a bedroom or a den. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. just FYI. Next, we have the Reserves at Talus, which is in the same community, located in Kyle Canyon. Now, this is not a master plan community, but it's right next to Kyle Point, which I'm surprised they didn't include it as the master plan community. Fascinating. So yeah. there's no SIDS or LIDS? Or... There's no SIDS or LIDS. Mm -hmm. It is a gated community, and the monthly HOA for landings and reserves is $65 a month. Just FYI mm -hmm. on that. Oh, and it's gated? I right? said gated. Oh, sorry, sorry. Yep, yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. And this one also has six different floor plans to choose from. However, they have four single-story floor plans and two two-story floor plans in this collection, ranging in size from 1550 square feet to 3066 square feet with three to five bedrooms, two and a half to five bathrooms, and all two-car garages, also priced in the high 300s. They, these ones did have, uh, in my opinion, a little smaller lots, but I thought they utilized, like the, especially the one stories, but I thought they utilized the space really well with those. Right, and it's a good point to bring out lot sizes. When you buy new construction here in Las Vegas or across the Las Vegas Valley, the lot sizes are gonna be a lot smaller because we are running out of room. We only have north to go and south to go. So the lot sizes, and we have, you know, we don't want to cram up the city and not have yeah. anywhere to go. You want to feel so, good, you want to feel right, comfortable. Right. Mm -hmm. So expect to be, you know, super close to your neighbors mm -hmm. and very little privacy. 
Now, if you're looking for privacy and bigger lot sizes, then you want to either you're going to be buying custom or older neighborhoods. Just FYI. Okay. So now we're going to hit the Summerlin area. And there's a lot happening in the Summerlin West part of Summerlin. And Summerlin has probably 10 to 15 more years to go and four more villages left, four or five more villages. Right now, the newest community that just recently opened is called Nighthawk by KB Homes. And this recently opened in the Kestrel Commons Village. And this is the first community in the Kestrel Commons to open. Um, they will have other homes or communities opening, which we're going to go over shortly. But this is, again, another KB home. And um, they have six different floor plans to choose from, ranging in size between 1720 to 2446 square feet with three to five bedrooms, two and a half to four bathrooms, and all two-car garages. We also had opportunity to take a tour of this community, and we also did video tours of this community right mm -hmm. so they should be already posted on my website on youtube so stay tuned to that or take a look at these floor plans and we also did videos for the model homes at talus mm -hmm. which we will be posting to youtube as well shortly um what did you like about this community Okay, so I liked how you can convert a lot of it. So the bigger floor plan ones, like 2,000 square feet or more, are um, you can convert them up to five bedrooms. So I thought that was kind of cool. Right. Or at least, at least three, I, I remember at least three of, of them you could. Mm -hmm. And I like that a lot. Um, again, another open, it's very open. I like how um, upstairs the loft, I think it's a very nice detail on some of these as well. So those are the things that I, I personally was impressed with. Yeah, and they have the famous 2446, which the other one was 2469. So it's very similar um, floor plan to the 2469 when it has the, the loft upstairs and also the bedrooms upstairs. So it's very similar, just a little smaller in square footage. Oh, the other thing I really like too, I like the double doors at the master suite. Yes. At master, uh, and some of the, oh, the some of the bedrooms. Yeah, that, or in some of them, yeah. I thought that was a nice touch. It just felt more open, felt inviting. Yeah, I like having double doors to my primary bedroom. Mm -hmm. Next in Summerlin is Osprey Ridge, and this will be in the Kestrel Village. This is by Richmond American Homes. They haven't really released any more description about this community with the floor size and pricing. I know that it's going to be ranch and two-story floor plans. I don't know how many floor plans they will offer. It will be coming soon, though. And I, I think that they're going to have a, like a, lo a lot, or an abundant design options is what yes. the way they put it. Yeah. So I think that's an important uh, feature for people who are interested in having variety of options exactly. for themselves. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Exactly. Then we have Viero, which is coming soon to Kestrel Commons Village. And this one, again, nothing has been really released about it. The only thing I do know that it's going to be two and three story floor plans mm -hmm. and ranging in size between 1460 square feet to 2038 square feet. These are very similar to Obsidian over there in the Red Point Square Village with the two and three story floor plans. Now, I noticed in the Kestrel Village, it's very common to have the three story homes mm -hmm. um, because you have Blacktail by Pulte Homes that are all three-story and then also you have Crested Canyon by Taylor Morrison that have two and three-story floor plans as well. So that's a big trend in that area because of the views. The way it's situated in Summerlin, you have beautiful city views and also mountain views. I think, um, so years ago here in Vegas, um, if you travel all the way up Lake Mead, past the 215, it used to just end. Yes. And so where uh, Vireo is, is actually on the top of Lake Mead. So when she's discussing those views, think of, you know, when you're at the top of Lake Mead on 215 Lake Mead in the Northwest area, the Summerlin area, just, you get to see the entire city. It's, yeah. It is so gorgeous in it that area. It is gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and to the north of 215 and Lake Mead is Reverence, mm -hmm. which is a Pulte community, very secluded community with beautiful mountain views. But the Kestrel Commons and the Kestrel Village, I think, have better views than Red Point Square and Red Point. Because it's not necessarily tucked away between the mountains. I think that ha yes. has a lot to do with it. However, it was higher elevated, I think. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that's it for Summerlin that's coming soon. Actually, there is one more community that will be coming soon in Summerlin, the Red Point Square Village. It's by TriPoint Homes. Mm -hmm. I forgot the name of it, but stay tuned to my channel and I will be showcasing that community. Next, we're going to go over Henderson. 
Hendo. And there's two new communities coming in the Cadence area, which Cadence is on the way to Lake Las Vegas. It's a master plan community in the Henderson area in the 89011 zip code. And you have Glenmore 1 and 2 by Century Communities. Century Communities has a lot in Cadence, mm -hmm. if you didn't know that. So the cool thing with these two, Glenmore 1 and 2, is that they're all single story homes. And each of them have three different floor plans to choose from. Glenmore 1 ranges in size between 1663 square feet to 1831 square feet with two to four bedrooms, two to two and a half bathrooms, and all two car garages. And then Glenmore 2, which is slightly bigger, uh, ranges in size between 1863 square feet to 2301 square feet with two to four bedrooms, two to two and a half bathrooms, and two car garages. Uh, prices and um, when it's going to be released have yet to been disclosed. They haven't, just, they haven't disclosed it yet, but we're, we're keeping a very close eye on it for everybody. And as soon as we find out more, of course, we'll be sharing that with you all. Exactly. So next we have the Bluffs in Lake Las Vegas. And they have Bluffs 1 and 2, also by Century Communities. And they have the same floor plans as the Glenmore 1 and 2. This community just recently opened. And so for the Bluffs 1, the sizes range between 1663 square feet to 1831 square feet with two to four bedrooms and two to two and a half baths. And its prices are starting in the mid 400s. Then we have the Bluffs 2. So, uh, yeah, because the Bluffs 1 are the mid 400s, the Bluffs 2 are actually, again, century communities. Um, it's opened up in Lake Las Vegas. It's, again, more single story homes. They have three different floor plans, but the but the sizes are a little bit different. So these ones range from 1,863 square feet, which the Bluffs one started at 1,830, you know, ended at 1,831 square feet. So this is all these homes are a little bit bigger, and they range all the way up to 2,301 square feet. So it's a little larger models, and these come with two to four bedrooms, two to two and a half baths, and two car garages. But these homes, actually, the prices start in the high 400s. So you're getting, you, you know, you get more house and the prices are, are reasonable for that, that additional, um, you know, square footage that you're getting. Exactly. And they just recently opened up, I think, sometime in mid-January um, in Lake Las Vegas. And Lake Las Vegas is part of Henderson, if you didn't know that. It's a master plan community in the Henderson area. Um, so let us know in the comments if you're interested in any of these new construction communities. But the most important thing is if you're ready to buy new construction, you need to use a new home sales expert that sells a lot of new construction. Mm -hmm. And also you need to have me there or whoever you choose on the very first visit. You cannot visit that community by yourself if you want representation. And if you want representation, and you, but you just want to look at the community without your agent, then use a fake name. <laughs> <laughs> well, just just when you go in there, just mention that um, you have an agent, and that way uh, you're represented because you're going to well, want Well, not necessarily, that. because they always make it very clear that on your very first visit, you have to have the agent with you and register you. Ah, okay. Yes. So it's very important that I, or whoever you select, Bees with you, bees with you, does yeah, that bees. make sense? Yeah, bees sure. with you <laughs> on the very first visit. <laughs> anyway, folks, um, but if you are thinking about buying new construction, you can always reach out to me at 702-370-5112 or I've posted a link to a buyer seller form down in the description below. And if you want to learn more about these communities, like I mentioned earlier in the video, there's a blog post link in the description that will take you directly to all these communities and what the homes look like. Mm -hmm. Or reach out and we'll be happy to provide you whatever information you're looking for and to assist you to answer any questions that you have. And don't forget to like and subscribe. That's the most important thing. <laughs> like and subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching and we can't wait to see you on the next video.